Sonic Combine. Sort of uh, the studio house band, as it were, for the Rauschenberg Studio. Um, and once we just started playing together, uh, it just kind of took off from there. And uh, we kind of combined our, uh, our disparate talents. Um, and abilities uh, to, to make a, a unique musical group. Uh, essentially, um, as a friend of mine said, well, I never really heard anything like that before. And so, <laughs> I think that's one of the things that, that, you know, that makes us charming. I have always fabricated things and I've noticed vibrations from things that I fabricate. I made some things and I had a solo career with nobody playing with me. And Kat just asked if she would want me to play with her and then I we just started playing together. The music is um, sometimes very abstract, very non-musical. Sometimes it's really beautiful, almost heavenly, sometimes almost demonic. That's a beautiful thing about it is that it's um, such dynamics, such a variety of sounds. It kind of reaches every every emotion, and also is so interesting looking, and the approach is so interesting. And I'm more attuned to like tree frogs after a rainstorm and and things sounds of nature that have like a transmission to them that, and so I I just have ideas of sounds and try to make them and I I really don't know what it's going to sound like until it's made I just I have a concept I make something and then I plug it in and, and try to learn how to play it and music is the, the liveliest, liveliest of the arts for me. Um, I get more of a visceral thrill out of sound than any of the other um, media. Um, you know, it's the one that's most likely to, to you know, raise the hair on my arms than, you know, than a good painting. I love the intellectuality of a great painting or a great sculpture or something like that. But if you want, you know, sheer, you know, um, body, you know, reaction, then, then sound is the one that's going to get you first. We get a lot of different reactions, actually. People, a lot of people really don't like it uh, because it doesn't sound like what they expect. And that's one of the things we do love about it is that we all play something completely new. There are no rules, except that we respect each other musically. Well, it was, a, it was an honor to play for that, not only the Merce Cunningham Dance Company, but to play with dance and with that, those incredible dancers. It 
it was wonderful to be a part of that because we all, three of us in the in Sonic Combine, knew Merce Cunningham, of course Bob Rauschenberg, and John Cage, who was part of that legacy tour. Bob seemed to be able to to tie into trying to help uh, anybody, and, and art was always the way to help everything. We did a lot of charity in the last 15 years with Bob. Um, you know, that was one of his major thrusts was to put the money that he, he said, you know, there's no reason to have a lot of money unless you can put it in good places. And if it just sits around, doesn't move, it's worthless. Is it? And so we kind of followed that uh, same dictum in that uh, if you can't get out there and create good energy, you know, what are you doing?